are going to learn how to crack the mental ability test. This exam is designed to gauge the reasoning and interpretation skills of the candidate. It tests the thinking process, originality and the time management skills of the candidate. This exam is also called the mental aptitude problems. NTSC that is National Talent Search Exam is a scholarship exam conducted by the NCERT that is National Council of Educational Research and Training. It has two parts. The first part is purely math which carries 100 marks and the second part again 400 marks comprises of questions from the field of science, social studies and math. The total time allotted is 3 hours. This test is an integral part of entrance exams such as that of engineering, chartered accountancy as well as exams related to government jobs such as bank probationary officer, railway clerkship exam and many other. Therefore, preparing for this exam proves beneficial as it helps a student prepare for various entrance exams. Generally, in this exam, questions are asked from the field of mathematics which forms a major portion. The most important part is how fast and how accurately you can answer because in most cases 200 questions are to be answered within the time limit of 3 hours. Therefore, you get less than 1 minute per question. To solve these problems, I emphasize on 4 things. Accuracy, speed that is time management, innovation and analyzation. Let's look at each one of them. We will go from D to A rather than A to D to understand the steps better. The first step is to analyze, then innovate the rules to follow. You have to increase your speed not only by a lot of practice but also by selecting the easiest and quickest method to answer. A question can be solved in 3 to 4 ways. You have to find out which method is the most suitable method for you. All the methods will give you the right answer but you have to decide which is the quickest method. Let's talk about accuracy. Most of the questions have negative marking. So one wrong answer may cost you 2 marks. Therefore, you should be very careful while selecting the method to reach the accuracy. Let's start with a very simple question. What is the 18th letter of the English alphabet? You all know that A is the first letter, B is second and so on. With Z being the 26th letter. You can try by saying or writing A, B, C, D and counting 1, 2, 3, 4 simultaneously. You will get the right answer which is R. You have achieved the first point that is accuracy. But have you noticed the amount of time you had to spend with this method? With this method you couldn't achieve the second point that is speed. Let's look at how we can achieve accuracy along with speed. Have a look at the chart. If you can't remember all the letters and their position, then remember at least 4 that are highlighted. If you remember this, you can solve the above question in 5 seconds. If T is the 20th letter, then the 18th letter will be R. This is what we call innovation. Another way to find the answer is to use the formula 27 minus 18 that is 9. So if you count the 9th alphabet from the right side that is Z, Y, X, W etc. You will get the right answer. This is what we call analyzing. Let's solve a question that is on coding and decoding. If train is coded as G, I, Z, R, M, what will be central coded as if it follows the same logic? First you have to find out the relation given in the question. Here you can see that the first letter A is replaced by Z that is the last letter. Similarly N is replaced with M. Memorize the above relation chart. 
Try counting with any pair given in the chart. When you add the two numbers, you will get 27. For example, L from the left plus O from the right is equal to 12 plus 15, that is 27. Now T is the 20th alphabet from the left. So what will be the corresponding position on the right? 27 minus 20, that is 7. 7th alphabet is G. Similarly, R is the 18th alphabet. 27 minus 18 is 9. I is the 9th alphabet. Thus, using the above rule, you will get central as X, V, M, G, I, Z, O. Let's look at a question related to the number series. Find out what will be the fourth number in the given series. The regular method would be 12 minus 2 that is 10, 30 minus 12 that is 18, 18 minus 10 that is 8. Did you notice that each gap is increasing by 8 that is 10, 18, 26, 34, 42? By this logic, the third number will be 30 plus 26 that is 56. Let's see what would be the best method to solve this problem. The best method to do this would be 2 square that is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 square that is 16, 16 minus 4 is 12, 6 square that is 36, 36 minus 6 is 30, 8 square that is 64, 64 minus 8 is 56 10 square that is 100 100 minus 10 is 90 12 square that is 144 144 minus 12 is 132 the simplest method however is 1 is to 2 is 2 3 is to 4 is 12 5 is to 6 is 30 7 is to 8 is 56, 9 is to 10 is 90, and 11 is to 12 is 132. Let's look at a question on coding and decoding with numbers and alphabets. If request is denoted by S2R52TU, decode asset following the same rules. Here you can see consonant R is replaced by S. Q is replaced by R, S is replaced by T, T is replaced by U and vowels E is replaced by 2 and U by 5. First find out the reason behind it and then solve. We know that there are 5 vowels that is A, E, I, O, U. That would be A is 1, E is 2. I is 3, O is 4 and U is 5. So in this question, vowels are replaced by its position that is E by 2 and U by 5. For consonants, it is replaced by the next consonant that is R is replaced by S, Q is replaced by R and so on. Vowels in acid are A and I. So, the number would be 1 and 3. Consonants in acid are C and D. So, C will be replaced by the next alphabet that is D and D will be replaced by the next alphabet that is E. Thus, the final answer is 1, D, 3, E. Let's look at a question where we have to find the odd man out. You may try to find logic in the number of letters in each word. Option A, D and E are words with 4 letters and option B and C are words with 5 letters. This method would be wrong. You might try to solve this question by finding a relation between the number of vowels and consonants being used in the words. The second letter in all the options is a vowel. However, in option C, the second and third letter are both vowels. 
this method will also not give you the right answer the right way is to recognize that l is silent in words given in the options a b c and d but not in the option e therefore option e is the odd man out let's look at a question that is a brain teaser the below figure has eight boxes and should be filled by numbers 1 to 8 so that two adjoining numbers should not come in two adjoining boxes 1 and 8 are the most flexible numbers since the adjoining number of 1 is 2 and for 8 it is 7 2 to 7 has two adjoining numbers each so the most complex boxes to be avoided are from 2 to 7 fill in 1 and 8 in those two boxes the right answer will be mirror image and water image of the above figure are also the right answers in the next video we will cover different types of mental ability problems and various ways to solve them